Hello, my colleague and I here want to talk to you about Crow, the Dark Inugami. Did you start the video of course, on messaging? You're gonna have to run in through the dimension hole a couple times before we're talking about the same crow. Welcome to How to Ruin Crow, starring me and my colleague. <laughs> he was once in the shadows of his brother, the Light Inugami. And now he becomes the king of PvE. And you're at home wondering how to ruin him. Well, this colleague of mine will tell you how. You can't just flip the tables on <laughs> <laughs> You know how this goes! Jeez, did we just like peek the mic like crazy? Dude, I think we just killed okay, the microphone. No, it's okay. Primary stats! Just like Lauren, we're gonna go through the primary and secondary stats that you should focus on with Crow. And this time, we promise, he actually has secondary <laughs> stats. Just like last time, the stats appear in order of importance. Crit... Crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Crit rate is extremely important because new players sometimes forget that if you don't have enough crit rate, about 80 to 85%, and your monster is not critting consistently, that damage is all wasted. So if you don't have enough crit rate, then all the crit damage stats are completely useless. Secondary stats, accuracy, and HP. The first one is extremely important for him to land death break and branding consistently. And the second one just makes him a tankier unit. Remember, in some places it'll be more important than in others. Yeah, that's right. So if you're using a starter GB12 team, then HP is going to be significantly more important for you than maybe a late game player who's trying to bring Crow into a place that is not that. <laughs> He's totally right! What he means like beasts or something. <laughs> if you're in the former category, then consider putting him on HP slot 6. Rune him on attack, crit damage, attack to give priority to those very big stats that will bring the damage to your team or speed crit damage attack if you're a newer player having a hard time hitting at 40 to 50 speed just through substats alone. Remember, if the monster doesn't take turns, He's he not no doing damage. damage. When you're bringing Crow into dungeons, you should either ruin him on Violent or Rage. Rage if you have a really good set with a lot of damage on it, and Vio if you happen to have them free and you want to get your cooldowns back a little faster. The offsets can be either Shield to keep your team alive and bring in a little bit of tankiness, or Revenge so you can hit that death break when he's hit. If you're a newer player, Fatal Blade are the sets for you because both of them target different primary stats for him. Fatal is going to increase your attack and Blade is going to hopefully get you a little closer to the crit rate threshold that you need to land those crits. Wow. That was very good. <laughs> am, was I, am I really At really what cost? At am what I, cost? Am I? Should I? On the dimension hole, he can help you farm runes in Lumel. Oh, that's me? Oh, great. I use Crow as my main DPS unit in my farmable level 5 Lumel team. It's got Veramos, 2A Vigor, Fran, and of course, 2A Crow. Why did I sound like a salesman doing a late night special? <laughs> Here's a necklace. 1999. <laughs> Another dimension hole part where you can be used very well is the dimension predator as well. You guys are probably watching some footage of it right now. He hits for over 200k damage. It's a lot 200K? of damage. 200k? Sorry, it felt like That's you needed a good, reaction. Yeah. That's a <laughs> lot of damage. In raids, Crow can be an excellent damage dealer in the back line. He has death break, branding, and deal lots of damage to that big boss. And cooldown reduction when he brings somebody, which is really cool. We haven't mm -hmm. talked about that yet. Crow's dope. Finally, PvP. If you're using Crow in RTA, then well, something's, something's gone, gone horribly, horribly wrong, wrong, dude. 